Good evening, Arizona. I'm Patty Kirkpatrick. It looks like a great action scene from a movie, but the, these are just regular folks shooting some high-power guns here in Arizona. We'll hear from some of the participants in a live report. war zone, right? But these guys are shooting for the fun of it right here in Arizona at an event that only happens twice a year. Gun enthusiasts are heading up to Arizona's northern desert to exercise their Second Amendment rights and shoot some very high-powered guns. It's called the Big Sandy Shoot. It's located northwest of Wickenburg, right off Highway 93. Steve Ryan joins us live with a look at this unique event. Steve? Patty, I, th I think we can do better than a look. We went hands-on here today, although, you know, we will give you that look first. Here's just a little taste of what's about to come. This is just one of dozens of tents out here with dozens of different types of machine guns, old ones, new ones, you name it. But there is also other history out here, memorabilia like this modern-day military Humvee here. However, it's more than just that. It's about the culture of this event and the history behind one of the world's oldest tools. Weapons that are still being used in modern day and ones that were retired in days gone by. They're all at the Big Sandy machine gun shoot this weekend. It's a Japanese machine gun made by Hitachi. How old? This was made in 1943. Mark Schneider drove to Kingman from Cave Creek, but so many other enthusiasts, dozens of them, came from all over the country. This is about safely having fun with historic weapons and having camaraderie with your friends and fellow shooters. It's a really good time. This is a Bradley 3030, retired by the U.S. military, but still used by some countries around the world. Very, very accurate, fully automatic machine gun. We have never had a serious injury at one of these shoots. Ed Hope has been managing the shoot for decades. It's the largest of its kind in the U.S. We have a crew of range safety officers that are NRA certified. Uh, this, this range is NRA affiliated. And uh, uh, safety is absolutely the most important thing that we do here. Viewers at home can hear the ammunition being popped off, but what are we smelling? Lots and lots of gunpowder. And it smells good. It smells very good. But for these enthusiasts, what's even greater is the camaraderie of a tight-knit event 25 years in the making. There is also a lot of skill here. This range has a variety of distances for people to target their weapons on some close to a mile away so skill is one of the biggest elements here but overall it really is about the camaraderie here there are people from all walks of life including children and they are all very professional and very well organized when it comes to this event reporting live i'm steve ryan 3tv now your 3tv doppler Still to come tonight on Good Evening Arizona, it kind of looked like a war zone near Kingman today, armed with machine guns. We're going to tell you what these guys were doing. This may look like a war in a foreign land, but it's actually video from a recreational shooting event here in Arizona. The machine gun shoot happens twice a year, attracts hundreds of people. It takes place in Arizona's high western desert along the big sandy wash south of Kingman. We sent Steve Ryan there to check out the amazing display of firepower. Steve? Oh, I didn't just check it out, Patty. I got to play it out and shoot some of these very nice firearms. These behind me are just a couple of the ones that are out here. And you know, this is all about the culture of guns and the history behind some of the world's oldest tools. From modern day to back in the day. Every automatic weapon made can be found at the Big Sandy machine gun shoot this weekend. 
Well, because Gatling guns burned up ammo so much, they usually gave them the thousand round crates. Steve Tanner came all the way to Kingman from California, one of dozens of people. He brought along his original 1890 Colt Gatling gun, which is still in perfect condition. Every gun has its own characteristic and, and they sound different, they look different, they operate different. The whole, the whole traverse of technology, I mean this, this being basically the very first machine gun. This is a Bradley 3030, retired by the U.S. military, but still used by some countries around the world. Very, very accurate, fully automatic machine gun. The safety is absolutely the most important thing that we do here. Ed Hope is the general manager of the shoot, located on a square mile of private land, often contracted for military training. These people with these guns are true historians. These guys are, are serious collectors and shooters. Uh, the guns are very expensive and they're very hungry. Always come back for more. I'll always, always wish the same thing. I need to bring more ammo next time. Because in a tight-knit culture built on camaraderie, everyone wants to try what the other brought. After all, that's how it all started 25 years ago. The range is quiet now because they're setting up for a night shoot at this moment. Some of those targets close to a mile away, but since safety is key here, no one is allowed on the firing line during setup. In that 25 years, there have not been any serious injuries here at this event. Reporting live, I'm Steve Ryan, 3TV. Now, your 3TV weather.